Hey guys, Ollie Alligator here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to overclock ATI graphics cards. So if you have an ATI graphics card, once you right click on your desktop, you should see Catalyst Control Center. So you're going to want to click on that. And once you do, I'm on the latest version. If you don't see this, you should probably update your graphics card drivers through Windows Update or AMD.com. But if you do see this, um, you can go under Performance, Clock Controls and find AMD Overdrive. Now if you don't want to update, you just have to find a way to find AMD Overdrive and from there you can easily overclock your graphics card. So I'm going to show you some basics for overclocking so you don't fry your graphics cards. So for GPU clock settings, I recommend going up by about 25. So from 850 to 875 and 25 and test if that's stable. And for your memory clock, I recommend going up by 50, and then you just hit apply and do what you regularly do and see if it is stable. Now, if you're happy with the performance on your computer, I do not recommend overclocking as uh, it may become unstable, but of course you can uh, restore to default. So, um, so it's 25 on uh, GPU clock and 50 on memory clock. And you, then you hit apply and do what you regularly do. See if it is stable. If it is, then your overclock's successful and uh, you can keep going up by 25 and 50s. And again, if you're happy with your overclock, I don't recommend uh, overclocking any farther. Also, you can, if your graphics card is getting hot, uh, it usually never goes to 100%, but you can turn it up to about 80 or 100 depending on your temperatures that you see right here and uh, anywhere up to 55 is normal and uh, around 70 for uh, when you're gaming or when you're doing something graphics intensive that is fine so if you have any questions leave a comment down below and uh, don't forget to subscribe follow me on twitter at twitter.com thanks for watching this video i will see you guys in my next one